Okay, guys. And now let me go through. Uh, does anybody wonder how I was able to deal with all of the trauma uh, from my childhood and beyond, well, into my adulthood? Does anybody want to know how I did that? I didn't just die and come back and it was all well and I was able to, to uh, deal with it. When I came back from being dead, I had all of this, like I said, full recall data, but I only had a human brain with human beliefs, with human words, to be able to interpret everything that I had experienced. So on the other side, I had access to it all at once. It was no big deal. I came over here remembering that I had information. I had all of it, that I had access to all of it. But here I was back in this time space and in this human body, and there I was limited again. So I could access it one thought at a time. Like I could think of, okay, well, what is the, what, the question is this. Oh, immediately there's an answer. But I learned that I had to do it at that time. I had to do it one question, one answer at a time. Over, since 2008, I've been able to expand that. Do it more than one question, one answer. One sentence, one sentence answer. Now I can do it with block thought really sending out the whole of the question from all perspectives, from any direction, and receiving answers from all perspectives, from all timelines, with all perspectives, and understanding that. Now I can do that and have access to it myself in my own brain, but it's still difficult to translate that into speech for you guys. You ask me a question, I can immediately go from your perspective, see all the aspects and perspective that that question involves, and how that answer from a full recall standpoint, what the answer would be. But of course I cannot do that in any kind of limited time space. So what I attempt to do is I try to, using human words, using human sentences, frame it in such a way that to you and hopefully anyone else this there might be other people that this will also work in that I trigger your own remembering to fill in the blanks of the whole aspect of it so you're asking the question I'm with limited sentences with limited verbiage I'm receiving it and see the whole picture then I get the answer to the question from the whole picture and then I translate it back to you using key sentences, key words to get you to remember and fill in the blanks of all the rest of it. Does that make sense? Okay? That's why I really, 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 really want you guys to go back and listen to my videos over and over and over again. Over and over. Just run them in uh, put them on your iPod or whatever and just run them over and over as you're driving, when you're cleaning house, wh whatever. Run them over and over because I want to trigger and I, I'm gauging what you're doing, this communication back and forth, how I'm doing and getting you to trigger to remember or realizing that you, in reality, you have very little amnesia. You just don't realize you don't have amnesia. You don't trust those instincts, those instincts you've been using all along. So hopefully I'm giving you enough data that you could start to trust your instincts, which eventually you will put together, put together, put together, and that will start to uh, uh, alleviate that feeling of being alone and separate, that amnesia that you have. Does that make sense? So how did I deal with the trauma? Well, what I did was I started looking at the bad ones, really, really bad memories. And I started light, the not so bad ones. And I'd go back and I would look at, and I'd practice. At first, of course, I was drawn right into the emotions of the situation and found myself um, doubling over and, and crying horribly and uh, throwing up and uh, intense fear and, um, helplessness and but I kept going back and I would go so that it didn't hurt quite as much what I was actually doing was not going so far in to the situation because what I was doing was immediately going when I just thought of it immediately going to the worst part of that circumstance 
the moments in time when I was the most hurt, the most terrified, the most helpless. Okay? That's what I would go to when I'd immediately think of the thought. Most of you, I think, you do. We do. So instead of doing that, I would go to, like, thinking about right before the event happened. What was I doing right before it happened? Well, that frequently led me to a lot of guilt. Well, uh, you could have done this and this and this and avoided the circumstance altogether, so I started beating myself up about it. So that didn't really work. So, like I said, a lot of trial and error here, guys. A lot of tri trial and error. So then I would go back into the situation after the event, but not very close to the after the event, because at first I went close, and again, was immediately dragged into the moment where I was the most fearful, the most helpless, and the most in the most pain. So then I pulled back even further. After the event, when I was calmed down, uh, in a place where I was comfortable um, playing with my child, uh, playing with my dog, um, walking in the park somewhere. And then I would like turn around and start looking at the event from that place, from that place, that feeling place. And then I would look at the event now first, I would immediately get drug right back into the middle. But after, over time, I would feel myself doing that, go, oh, 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 and I would come out of the memory altogether using my uh, tried and true, and holding my children in my arms, music, music, funny movie, okay? Then I would go back in and try to look at it from afar. If I got drug in, go to my three happier, happier, happier um, go-to fixtures, Okay? Eventually, I was able to uh, be far enough away to look at the circumstance so I could see what was going on before the event happened. Okay? Then I could get into the event. Then I could go before that to the next event, before that to the next event. And I just did that over and over and over again. Eventually, I got really good at going to those events without having any emotional... Uh, being emotionally distraught in any way. When I got to that point, I could really move. And I could start tracking it back where I could track, okay, I was, I had this, this attempted murder on me. It happened right after I was feeling afraid of humans that they were going to come and kill me. I was, I was able to track the rape back to um, afraid that that guy or some guy was going to rape me. And I kept tracking backwards and backwards and backwards so I could see the cause and effect. I could see my vibration sent out a fear of and that happened. My vibration sent out homeless and it happened. My vibration sent out I'm afraid this marriage is going to be just like the other one and it happened. My first marriage I'm afraid it's going to be like my father and he was. I could track it all the way back to the very, very, very beginning. I can track it back to the beginning before I was in utero, where I was coming into it being in utero, in my mother's uh, belly, to the switch that happened when the reptilian switched me into the other dysfunctional family. And then, of course, before that, it's very easy because I can go outside time and space where I came from, and I can very quickly remember all of that. Okay? So that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And you just keep practicing until you get it done. You don't need to have an NDE to do what I just described. So the psychiatrist said that you can't get over anything unless you go back and relive it. And they are right in a sense, but they want you to go and relive it on an emotional level, which sends out the same vibrations, which will cause more bad things to come to you, which you do not want. You do not want. So if you're interested in how the whole procedure works, and you can do what I did, it made me very comfortable in the understanding that, yeah, the reptilians had made that switch and that wasn't accounted for in our original plan, my original plan, and my friend's original plan. But from that moment on, it was my vibrations that caused it. 
Okay, battery's going dead. I've got to end this. Uh, huge hugs. Love you bunches. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.